you know, they'll just be like, oh, you look old and small, you're a piece of shit, and you're blacklisted from ever, you can't wrestle, you're never going to wrestle for a TV company again, I'm just like, okay, block. <laughs> uh. Beating time. Welcome to Vegan Feeding Time, or just Feeding Time. I am your host, the big guy Ryback. All the way across town, we're in a mad windstorm here in Vegas. The visibility is actually really bad. I actually want to get back to my side of town, because i got to take the freeway back. And it, 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 I mean, we're talking, I think they said up to 70 mile per hour winds here in uh, Sin City. And it, it is picked up. Uh, so that's going on. Uh, I'm parked here safely uh, today. Wanted to try this new place, Soleil uh, Vegan Foods, and uh, I'll have the, the title and everything, but it's Soleil Soleil. It's at the same place as Smash Me Baby Burger. They make the food, you come pick it up, and they have like Soul Food, Louisiana Soul Food, all the different things. Today, I got their chicken fingers uh, with celery and, and uh, carrots with hot sauce. I, I wanted it tossed in it. I put it on the instructions. I didn't get that. So I'm going to have to do the double dip into the ranch. Not a problem. Which, honestly, in the car, not getting all the buffalo sauce on me. That my, my I can't see! And then I got their burger and fries. And the burger has like coleslaw on it. It's a double burger with cheese, tomato, coleslaw, and this is all plant-based, all of this. Who is this? There's a Okay, uh, and then their Cajun fries, I believe, with this as well. And one of the workers has come out. They, uh, I've got some napkins here. We're gonna go ahead and dive in. You better not be watching me do the video. They're not. I'd like to eat in privacy. So uh, we're gonna dig in. We've got a lot going on as always, and uh, I've got two of these napkins. Ooh, that burger's gonna be messy. Let's get going here. We're gonna, there's one, two, three, four, five, six chicken fingers, all right. Put that in there, open the hot sauce, open the vegan ranch. Ah, shit! Got hot sauce everywhere. Damn it. I can't never do this smooth, it's feeding time. I'm starving. A little dippy dip, dippy dip dip. Mmm. All right. Very crunchy. Mmm. I wish I didn't spill some of that hot sauce. Damn. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. These are good. These are the seitan chicken fingers. Seitan is amazing. This was a good choice. Oh, maybe there's seven or eight of these damn things. How many have I had already? There's four more. These are fried different than any I've ever had. Very crunchy and good. Very good. <clears throat> I've got to go do a big cardio and conditioning session. I'll do that at home today. I was going to go to the gym and do the sauna, but I don't got time. I got to do an appointment meeting at home over Skype at 5.30.
which is 325 now. <sighs> I'm gonna cut it a little tight. Starving. Big guy's hungry. I'm gonna save the celery and carrots. Uh, be very careful here. Luckily, they got trash cans right there. Throw this stuff all away. Man. Do a little reset. Just going, going, going. We're approaching 400,000 subscribers on here. Thank you guys very much. Uh, there's no ketchup. They didn't, no ketchup on this, but we've got this burger and fries. This is going to be, <clears throat> this is going to be, this looks like it could be messy. I got my loser food tray here. Oh, shit. How are we going to do this? Let's start with a few fries, just uh, they're hot. That's how big guy likes it. Damn, these are good fries. Little Louisiana Cajun seasoning, uh-huh. I've realized every once in a while there's always so much love and, and everyone's great, right? For the most part. You get every once in a while those people they just whatever. The negative people. Always when I click on their, their page, you know, sometimes I go, I want to just see, see what they look like before I block them. And it never surprises me, like ever. I'm never like, oh man, that guy, that one shocked me. Looks like he has everything together and it's always like, nope, I get it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I really think, what is causing all this anger and resentment, not just to me, but from people that just that spread hate online massively, what's their deal? And I really, I think it's multiple things, but one thing I really think it comes down to for men and women. Uh oh. Oh, I thought it was. Never mind. Um, is just a lack of quality for, for, for men, lack of quality pussy, and for women, lack of quality pipe. Because the people that have that in their lives typically are happy and content and, you know, you're not like just typing all day, like hate from one thing to the next to the next. And I go, how do we, how can we get America back on track? All countries, but America first. Well, you know, maybe if I ran for president, that has to be one of my, my campaign deals. More pipe and pussy for the American people. Make it more affordable. That's why all these rich, successful people, they all, they, they, they're hoarding all the quality pussy and pipe. You common man, common woman, can't get it. Mainly all because of their own fault, but think we can get people more focused, more united. Yeah. You know, obviously there's other things going on too, but I really think that could really 
really fix a lot of problems. Oh man, shoulders doing really well. We're in a really, really good place. I've uh, got a lot more work to do tonight. I mean, when I really, I'm, I'm looking really good. It's hard to tell sometimes in these videos <clears throat> one person told me it's just a random <laughs> just be a random comment you know they'll just be like oh you look old and small you're a piece of shit and you're blacklisted from ever you can't wrestle you're never going to wrestle for a tv company again i'm just like okay block <laughs> uh, man what would you how did you even see my post why are you going to my page don't follow me. Like, man, I wonder what Ryback's doing today. I'm going to just leave him a really mean message. All right, we got to work on this burger, guys. I still got more fries. There's so many damn fries. I need the other napkin to be safe. Our Shell Shock Extreme Fat Burners back in stock on feedmemore.com. It's our number one bestseller. I love this stuff. All right. Oh, whoa. Let you guys get some eyes on that. This is a man's burger. Oh boy, that tomato's ready to shoot out. Oh shit, I ate the pepper. Ah, I ate the pepper. Mm. Stupid me. I tore the paper off before I took the photo. I left paper on the bottom. Oh, some extra fiber. Shit. I'm just eating it. Just eat paper. My dog completely forgot. It's my fault. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Damn it. Got it stuck in my teeth. Oh, I hope that was vegan wrapping paper. Jesus, the size of this, man. This burger tastes different than other burgers. <clears throat> Why don't the paper go? Luckily, I got my wet naps in here for after. This is my higher carb day, and then I go low carbs for three days. I switched it up because it's going to be. It was. Usually I'll do this on Tuesday after uh, three days of low carbs, but I did the two days today and then I'll go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from now on because I'm going to start keeping it where I take off. Saturday is my fasting day. Sunday is hard conditioning day. Monday is going to be hard conditioning day. And then the four days really hard of conditioning and weights and uh, sauna in there too. One of the days, the, um, and that gives me my, sh my shoulder. I'm getting stronger and stronger. And uh, that the, this extra day off is really paid off. And I would oftentimes just put the day off in the middle of the week. I go, nope. When I do three days in a row of no weights, I'm able to access more scar tissue. And uh, like we're 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 getting there. Now this is a Louisiana burger down by the Bayou. The Bayou. Bobby Boucher, Bobby, 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 Bobby Boucher would be proud. My mama, my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama said. Don't you talk about my mama, 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 my Thank you for all the love and support.
it's uh it's great doing the Ryback show and streaming on there. We've been getting anywhere from fifty to eighty thousand views per show just on there, which is huge. And I'm just kind of waiting with this legal stuff going on. I talked about. We're waiting for uh, on their end of things. And we'll see. I uh, I can't wait for it to all be over. But it's all timed out really well, oddly, with how my shoulder and like the recent development of getting this other remaining scar tissue. And feeling really, really good. I'll tell you what I'd like to do. And I would be open to it. If we wrong, if we right all the wrongs of the past with WWE. And that's on their end. I'm not backing down. <clears throat> I'm not, because I one not wrong on anything, and I will not will not tolerate if the if the right the, the wrongs are righted, which it looks like some of them are going to be. I would be open. I would be open to doing, they're going to be in Vegas. And I've never been open to doing anything. I would be open to a one match thing. And that would be, <clears throat> they're, they're here in Vegas, Allegiant Stadium, Money in the Bank, July 2nd. Time's out perfect with where I'm at. And I already know. And this isn't saying... This is just something for me. If this stuff gets righted, I would be open to doing to doing business. And because I've got everything going on, and I want to see because it's going to take. I'm in shape and ready to go, but like to be ready, ready. You know, I think it would be really cool to do a retirement match, Ryback versus Goldberg. And I've mentioned that before. Because I wanted the match when I was there, and they they always I told you guys what what Hunter said, and they never they never would acknowledge it, not acknowledge me with it. They tell me no, you don't want that, you don't want that. No, I do want it. I wanted it then. Who's this guy, pizza guy? And still, because it'd be it, we would I just know, and uh, but we'll see and see if some trust can be built. If not, I can give two shits. I'm like it's such a I'm I don't care. But if the, the, the wrongs are righted, which they're fully aware of, and then we can see about starting to do a little business. But if not, I don't care. I just want, I do want to wrestle at Legion Stadium here in my hometown with my family. After all this BS and everything with my injuries, and I just think, I go, you know what? That motivates me. I can sink my teeth into that. But it has to be for something big after all of this. Can't be for anything less. All right, we gotta eat the remaining. On the same token, not even WWE, a match that will interest me down the line. As I stuff my face with tasty vegan food, is Wardlow. That excites me. That is something that motivates me. But we'll see. I'm not I, not getting ahead. I know someone will get. You know how it works. That's just how my mind, right now, when I see this stuff going on, I'm like, oh, that's a ways away, but in the, in the middle of the summer, that's feasible. With where I'm at right now and how I feel, I can go now. I just have to finish up if I want to do a few more things and like, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Done. 
I know some people, they don't know, some people don't know why I post all the, the, the past footage. There's always a, a method to my madness. It's not, it's not reliving my glory days. It's showing a whole new generation who Ryback was while being the most followed guy compared to anybody on the active rosters on TikTok, right? And so that I have a, my audience and rem reminding the kids that grew up that I was their favorite or one of their favorites, hey, I'm still here. I'm not, I'm, I'm still the big guy Ryback. Inform them of everything else going on through that, get them in with all the suppression going on and the lies and the BS. And it's been my way to combat that. So, and I try to have a very effective social media strategy in all that I do. But that's just being transparent with it. All right. <clears throat> oh, done. So that was Soleil. Uh, oh, something in my teeth. I think it's the favor still. Vegan food here in Vegas. It's off of that St. Louis Boulevard, just down the road from Glenn Gilberti's Disco Inferno Sapphires. Check it out if you're ever in town. The uh, that was amazing. This was delicious. That was some good comfort food. I uh, luckily I got the long drive home, and uh, and then uh, can knock out my conditioning and cardio before I got to take that the meeting. Uh, the the chicken fingers, those were outstanding. I still to this day. I have to give the Garden Grill the number one chicken fingers in town in Vegas. They 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 are just absolutely incredible. These were incredible as well. I like these because the the, the cr it was crunchier, but I like both styles. I wish, and I don't know how crunchy they would have been if they were tossed in the in the sauce, right? With it, but I'm not mad at it because you just do the double dip, and it was absolutely delicious. I'm gonna give those. I'm gonna give those a 9.4 uh, 9 out of 10. The uh, And the burger, and it was the Louisiana burger, double pat, double burger with the Cajun fries. Fries, absolutely del delicious. Fries are gonna get a, a strong 9.5. Hot, very happy with those. And uh, that burger with the coleslaw, I didn't know how that was gonna be. I really, really enjoyed that. It was very, very good. Uh, I'm gonna give that a nine, a 9.4 out of 10. This was just overall fantastic. And uh, for around 30 bucks, I had, that was a lot of food. I I'm, I'm feel good. And uh, I won't eat till later now with everything on that. So there's that guys, the Soleil uh, vegan food here in Las Vegas. A lot of options as you've seen. If you're ever coming into town, just scroll the channel through all the vegan videos and you'll get an idea of the different places you could check out while you're here. We're one of the top, top vegan food places in the world. In the world, me amigos. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's, today's episode. I thank you all very much from the bottom of my heart for all the love and support and for subscribing and keeping notifications on and checking in uh, weekly on here and, and being supporting supportive through all of this, uh, this journey with me. And I've tried to just be as transparent and honest as possible with everything so it's uh it's cool that we've been able to stay in contact and have this connection through all of this so thank you and uh check out my feed me more nutrition supplement line sweetened with stevia and monk fruit no artificial sweeteners or colors vegan friendly for men and women on feedmemore.com you could save 20 percent with discount code feeding time 20 feeding time 20 on feedmemore.com and uh until we feed again my friends, stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show and the Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, please support us over at Patreon, patreon.com backslash Ryback. We have two different tiers available over there for both those shows. Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first time buyers can save 25% on the website with discount code SAVE25. And for all personal videos from yours truly, cameo.com backslash the big guy Ryback. Thank you guys again. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry, be more. Feed me more.